The second application that we have is an oscillating mass at the end of the spring. So basically, this also exhibits a simple harmonic motion as we shall see. Combine the mass that is attached in the spring, it acts as a, the oscillation acts in, in terms of simple harmonic motion. So I want you to assume we have a spring that has no any mass initially. Okay? And uh, then we put a mass, you create a mass C spring, it extend a, an extension distance E, okay, such that uh, we know from Hooke's law F is a sana K times X, right? Yes, minus. Mm -hmm. So E, it extend kwa sabi ya U8. So this force, I'm going to cause the extension. Always remember that this force should be the one causing the extension. Please remember that it is very, very important. We shall see. Make sure this force is the one that is causing this extension. For, for this case, it is the weight that is causing that extension. So we know mg is a sana ax for such case. It's only basics too. So, kuna cases ambapo tunisa tuka attach springs a idea moja, kuna cases ambapo springs in these are the parallel, kuna spring mingini lakini zina shikiria a single body we shall see. So, kwanza to prove, uh, kwanza hii ni simple one motion. Ambo nilisema trick ya kwanza ni kutafuta restoring force cha kwanza. Then kutafuta acceleration, then kutuvu acceleration is direct proportional to the, uh, displacement but in opposite direction. There's only three basic techniques that could prove the body in exhibit simple harmonic motion. So if L is the natural length of the spring, kuna kwenye case one, E1 ni natural length of spring. Case two kuna extension E okay such that negative kx Okay, E for this case, E X is the E, the extension. So we have uh, M G S one negative K E as I showed there. In case number three, where the spring is extended by a further uh, distance y. So kumpano hapo, okay. Si weighti me sababisha yu. Then you kachukua mkono wako kai pull tena yu masi zaidi kuhu meyongezei distance y kwa kutumia f yako f2 ambao we don't know ni kiasi yes, gano matumi so basically it means here there are two, two forces taking part the wewe umeongeza weight yako silikuwa mwanzo weight ime extend e wewe umeongeza an extra force ka extend y it means when a spring kuna a net force due to extension ya y kwa sabu hukusu anatoge k times x ni sasana force. So kuna k times y and k times e because there are two extensions here. And so they both cause the restoring force. So this spring at one point kuna two forces. Forces are due na force the chini. Chini kuna weight. Na due kuna f2 here. Ba mboni restoring force. So tunasema hii restoring force is due to ky na ke. So the restoring force as we have written here is a sana negative ke okay plus negative ky because kuna negative ke na negative ky as it goes to put so much addition the resultant is two for me here for two kwa lakini chini kuna weight so if this body restoring force in a full u it means net force f is a sana f2 minus the weight so what do we have? We have negative KE minus negative KY, I mean minus KY, okay, minus MG, right? So it means easing is a U, easing is a force etching. So we find the difference between the two. Kupata the net, net force in order to spring and boy on the utasababisha is a oscillation, okay? Because according to Newton's second law, we can get a series of come on the law of Zuri, the Newton's law of motion to the same acceleration. I hope when I'm getting a Newton, and the quantity net force acting on the body is what causes the acceleration. 
So, but remember from here, tulisema upper mongo. Kwamba mg ni sasana negative ke and vice versa. Okay? Negative ke sasana mg. Kwa here we have negative ke minus ke minus mg tumisema sasana negative ke Kwa minus na minus is in kwa positive. So, ke minus kwa negative ke plus ke is in cancel each other. Kwa na baki na net force ni sasa na negative ke y. So it's what they are written here. Okay. So by Newton's second law, mass times acceleration is sasa negative ke y. So a ni sasa na negative ke y divided by m. So we know k over m ni constant. Hence, acceleration is direct proportion to y. But they are opposite in direction to mana kuna negative as shown kwa mba ini simple manipulation. So if we proceed further to derive from a zetu kama kawaida tunajua acceleration in negative w squared y na acceleration for this case tunipata negative ky over m. So if we compare y na y a na a. So w squared ni sasa na negative km ok negative w squared ni sasa na negative km o w squared sasa na km. So w ni sasa na hiyo k but we know w and being the angular velocity is 2 pi over time period ni sasa na km so time period ni sasa na 2 pi over mk lakini hii ni version 1 of the formula we can express that in terms of extension in gravity because we know mg ni sasa na ke mwanzo kabisa tuli derive mwanzo kabisa tuli posema kwa mba only the weight is the one that is causing the extension so from here k ni sasa na mg over e. So if we introduce k here, or if we take g here and take k huku. Kwa kichukua k uka leta huku, nakuna mk huku. Alafu kichukua g uka leta huku, nakuna mg huku. Kwa m over k ni sasa na e over g. Kwa m over k, nato kai substitute p over g. Na mana version ya pili formula, ni 2 pi. Ok? Ni 2 pi square root ya e over g kwa ni second version of form yes we put it in terms of frequency then I change the opposite way so here we shall see springs q arranged in series so this is the arrangement here and uh, we just have to remember kwamba spring q in series uh, we are supposed to show that k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 your total spring constant when 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 a spring equal connected in series so this is how it happens so we know kwamba here the restoring force will be equal to e times k1 and here the restoring force will be equal to e2 plus k2 the same restoring force because they in series they are using the same restoring force so the restoring force in here is equal to the restoring force over there because they are arranged in series. We come up on your electricity, current electricity is current series, we may want to the same. So the restoring force is the same. So the total extension is E1 plus E2. As we said earlier, kwamba zingekuwa the same, ingekuwa ni simply 2E. Lakini they are different. But what is E? From F is equal to KE, E is equal to F over K. Okay. So if we have the E1 ni F over K1 and E2 ni F over K2. So we have the total extension E is a sana F over K factor of K1 plus 1 over K2. So this is, in other words, mathematically, is a sum k1 plus k2 divided by k1, k2. So finally, if we return our equation, come and over to kiwa yue, really to make k the subject, it means e na kuye uku haya na enda kule. So we have f e kiji hapo, f over e. Ni sasa na K1, K2 inaenda huko, na kanda hiyo, K1, K2, 
over k1 plus k2 nishikachi namna hii just simple f over e total restoring force total extension is an sana summation in k so hence it is shown as simple as that so if we substitute in into the formula number 2 pi ni sana m over k ile k ndo hii hapa kwa hiyo inakuwa ni t 2 pi m over k k ni k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 ambayo inapanda juu k1 plus k2 as simple as that yes so just remember this is only true when we have a single mass if we have a double mass we do it the same way okay inatokea tu Uh, the same way kwamba kama ilivyo spring constant kama tuna spring moja na mass mbili tofauti the total mass inakuwa m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 as we shall see later kwamba tunapoongelea potential energy it is either due to the height of a body and for this case when a spring potential energy in as a cover related to the spring constant okay we shall see when energy changes so tunapoongelea spring constant tunapoongelea potential energy in terms of energy mass conservation energy conservation potential energy related to spring constant and potential energy is also related to mass so maana zinakuwa zina similarity kwamba kama you have a single spring but this time the masses is equal to fault from fano you have the spring una mass g una mass g and this body is falling freely it means you have a single spring and the both masses in act who are not push you are not pull so the resultant mass total mass when you spring is given by that the same kama ilivyo kwenye spring constant and we shall see later kwamba potential energy uh, is related to both spring constant and potential energy is also related to mass so they are similar and they can be compared that way so that's how we do it we shall see an example of this in the near future hapo mbele and we shall apply that so for springs in parallel Okay, you have the arrangement the body is supported by two springs in parallel so this has k1 and this has k2 with the same extension because the body equal extended to faulty height lie horizontally so the, the, there must be an equal extension in both because each e weight na distribute in a way ambayo itaji balance yenyewe ili body upande mmoja ni object is kai au inatakae kai horizontally because both strings in support in its own way co extension as may the same so energy just to kwenye spring constant na 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 namna hiyo so what happens here is that uh, total k for here usually ni k1 plus k2 so what happens in kwamba f ni sawa sawa total f ni sawa sawa total k times total extension okay so total f ni sawa sawa so we have restoring force tofauti kwenye hii na restoring force tofauti kwenye hii so we have tofauti na kwenye series restoring force the same and restoring force ni kama umeme kwenye current electricity sikio in series restoring force is the same current is the same sikio in parallel current ina kwa tofauti na huku restoring force ina kwa tofauti sababu kule current ndio driving ina drive umeme kwa hapo na huku restoring force ndio ina drive simple harmonic motion yeah just remember that so in ke plus k2 extension is the same so f is a sana e u k fact out k1 plus k2 so 
f total f ukija ku compare na hii question the summation ya k ni sawa sana k1 plus k2 tension hii na hii so k sawa sana k1 plus k2